Why don't you tell me the ABV? Why don't you tell us the ABV? Put the ABV in the can. Put the ABV in the can. If you put the ABV on the can, I wouldn't have to look it up on Untapped. Well, it doesn't even... Now I gotta find the rice emoji. Okay, this looks right. This is banana split. Oh, where's wild berry? There we go. No ABV. There's not even a picture on this one. What is going on, everyone? Josh here with another half-ass beer review. And tonight, we got a little collaboration beer going on. This is a can of Chunk Smoogee. Shmoogee. Wildberry Cobbler with Blueberry, Blackberry, and Plum. There's no ABV on the can. As you can tell from the intro, no ABV on the can. You look it up, and on tap, there's like three different kinds. One has 0% ABV, no picture, and it's the Wildberry one, right? And then there's one that says it's a banana split one. Well, and that, that says 6.8%. So you look at the website, and they say anywhere from 6 to like 6.8% ABV on imprints, because this is brewed by imprint but in collaboration with drucker out of fargo north dakota so let's uh look at the can art eh i i don't know i mean it's pretty evil a little bit different art style than drucker's but it's still you got the evil cat holding up a cobbler flames all sorts of cool skulls i mean come on and then you peel it back and a little bit of drucker right there just just so you know just in case you didn't you know get the picture during chonk Chonk is Drecker. Drecker is Chonk. I'm excited about this one. We rolled it around. We flipped it upside down. We're getting all that stuff off the bottom of the can. Now we're going to open it to try it out. It would be nice to one day get to Drecker and actually kind of cool to get to Imprint Brewing. They got this whole smoogey line. It's their like thick fruit beer series. And this sucker is thick. I picked this up at Jungle Gym's in Cincinnati. A single can is $10. So yeah, it's not cheap, but let's smell this beer. See if it lives up to it. Yeah. Okay. I'm getting like a pie crust spices, maybe like a little bit of uh, cinnamon in there. Like brown sugar, maybe. More of like the sugary sweetness out of this one. You're getting slight fruit on here. And blueberries, blackberries, and plum. Not a huge plum guy, so I'm not going to be able to tell you exactly. I don't even know if I've eaten just a plum by itself. Honest, honestly, honestly, honestly. And I keep thinking it's the old people fruit, but that's a prune. I just never had a plum. Love blueberries, love blackberries. I look forward to there being a beer that has just a lot of blueberry in it. Hopefully this is it. Let's try this out. As always on Half-Ass Beer Review, we do little drink, big drink. Cheers, everybody. Hmm. This is insane. Brown sugar, cinnamon with that pie crust. Blackberry, there's a nice tartness to like the blackberry. It's not like uh, overpoweringly tartness. It's not tart or super sour or anything like that. The blueberry is actually pretty nice. Blackberries first, blueberries there. Plums, just that other flavor kind of floating around in there. It might mix in well with both of them. Like I said, I don't know what plum tastes like, so uh, maybe I don't. That's just what it is. But this taste, the only thing this is missing is uh, some maybe whipped cream, but uh, pretty solid. I mean, it is thick though. It's like you're drinking a, sh a shake or a smoothie or something like that. Like right up in the lines with the thick beer club. This is certified thick beer club, but with chonk on it. I mean, it, it has to be a thick one. And now smoogey to smoogey. Am I saying that right? Shmooji? S-C-H-M-O-O-J-E-E? -E, or is it just smooji? Shmooji? This thing's solid. This thing is very solid. You want to drink it. You want to drink a lot of it. You want to keep drinking it. 
uh, 32 ounce cans, please. 40 ounce. I don't think you can bottle these thick beers like this. They'd blow up and they'd, they'd be like a pipe bomb. But if I could get 40 ounces of this instead of 16 ounces at one go, I'd be pretty happy. Although that might be your your caloric intake for the day. That'd be some that'd put you somewhere around like 2,500 calories. Just one 40 ounce can of this beer. That's that's what it's got to be. But I tell you what, this is like drinking your wildberry cobbler, uh, blueberry, blackberry. I, I love blackberries more than I love blueberries. I just, I think they're more, there's more to offer in a blackberry. They're more expensive, but it is what it is. Lots of good fruit. You're getting that whole pie pastry vibe out of this and I can't complain. Would I ever get this beer again? The true test. And yes, I would. I I wish I would have got more than, more than one. I wish I would have got the whole four pack because then I could have three more to drink that I'd probably want to drink immediately after this. In fact, it's really hard not slamming this right now in front of all of you. Uh, one more little drink, because I'm selfish. Yeah. Get this one. Try this one. Get a lot of it. Share it with people. Enjoy it. Have a good time with it. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. But now that's going to do it for this episode of Half-Ass Beer Review. Thank you all for stopping by and checking out the latest and greatest addition to the Thick Beer Beer Club. Chonk Smoogee. Phenomenal. Hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope you had a good time. If you're new here and you liked what you saw, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Everybody, give this video a thumbs up. Before we go, please check out my friends Banter and Babble for the best pop culture wrap-up, King Cuddles for the best simulated wrestling around, and Seven Dungeons for the best Dungeons and Dragons ever. And always remember to keep your fridges full and have a great night.